Exploring Kepler-18b a super-Earth in the habitable zone of its star. Hello everyone welcome to Space Explorer Channel. Have you ever wondered if there is life beyond our own planet? Scientists have been searching for habitable exoplanets or planets outside of our solar system that could potentially support life. One such exoplanet that has captured the interest of researchers is Kepler 18 bits, a super Earth orbiting its star in the habitable zone. The discovery of Kepler 18 bits, along with other exoplanets, has opened up a new realm of exploration and has sparked the curiosity of astronomers and the general public alike. We will delve into the fascinating world of Kepler 18 bits, exploring its characteristics, potential for habitability, and the ongoing research being conducted to learn more about this distant world. So, let's embark on a journey to discover this intriguing super-Earth and the possibility of finding life beyond our own planet. Before moving forward, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future interesting videos. What is Kepler 18 bits? Kepler 18 bits is an exoplanet, a planet that exists outside of our own solar system. It was first detected by the Kepler Space Telescope, a NASA mission dedicated to finding planets in habitable zones, the regions around a star where conditions may be just right to support liquid water, an essential ingredient for life as we know it. Kepler 18 bits is classified as a super-Earth, a type of exoplanet with a mass greater than Earth's, but significantly less than that of ice giants in our solar system like Uranus or Neptune. This places it in a category of planets that don't exist in our own solar system, making it an object of significant curiosity. Its status as a super-Earth suggests that it has a solid surface, unlike the gaseous giants that dominate the outer solar system. This exoplanet orbits in the habitable zone of its star, Kepler-18, a G-type star located approximately 490 light-years away in the constellation Cygnus. This makes it a potential candidate for being able to support life, as the temperature range in the habitable zone could allow for the existence of liquid water. While it's exciting to consider the possibility of life on Kepler-18 bits, it's important to note that being in the habitable zone does not guarantee that a planet is habitable. Many factors contribute to a planet's habitability, including its atmospheric composition, geologic activity, and magnetic field. However, the presence of Kepler-18 bits in the habitable zone of its star has placed it on the list of exoplanets deserving of closer study and continued observation. Discovering Kepler-18 bits, the role of the Kepler spacecraft. The discovery of Kepler-18 bits is attributed to the tireless work of the Kepler spacecraft, a project launched by NASA in 2009 with the aim of finding Earth-like planets orbiting other stars. The spacecraft was equipped with a photometer, an instrument designed to measure the intensity of light, which it used to observe over 150,000 stars in its field of view. Kepler's method of finding planets, known as the transit method, involves looking for periodic dips in a star's brightness, which indicate a planet passing in front of the star or transiting. Kepler 18 bits was among the thousands of exoplanets detected by this method. Observations revealed that Kepler 18 bits completes an orbit around its star in a remarkably short period of just 3.5 days, resulting in frequent and relatively easy to spot transits. It was officially confirmed as an exoplanet in 2011, making it one of the early finds of the Kepler mission. The spacecraft's unprecedented sensitivity to changes in starlight enabled it to detect planets as small as Earth, and even smaller. It was also able to determine the size of the planets it discovered, which is how Kepler-18 bits was classified as a super-Earth. In addition, by observing multiple transits for each planet, Kepler was able to estimate the orbital periods and distances from the host stars, further contributing to our understanding of these distant worlds. While the Kepler spacecraft's primary mission ended in 2013, it has left a lasting legacy, with data from its observations continuing to be analyzed and leading to new discoveries to this day. Through its pioneering work, we have gained a deeper understanding of our place in the universe and the potential for life beyond our own solar system. 
The monumental discovery of the exoplanet Kepler 18 bits is primarily credited to the pioneering work and unparalleled contributions of the Kepler spacecraft. The Kepler spacecraft, a project of groundbreaking importance launched by NASA in 2009, was motivated by the aspirational aim of finding exoplanets comparable to our own Earth, which might potentially orbit stars beyond our own solar system. This iconic spacecraft was fittingly equipped with a highly sensitive photometer, a complex instrument specifically designed for measuring the intensity or the amount of light. The photometer served as the spacecraft's observing eye for monitoring and studying over a hopping 150,000 stars in its extensive field of view. The methodology that Kepler used to find planets is recognized as the transit method, a reliable technique that involves looking for regular dips in a star's brightness. These periodic reductions in brightness often serve as an indication of a planet transiting or simply passing in front of the star. Among the thousands of exoplanets identified by this effective method was Kepler 18 bits. Detailed observations of this particular exoplanet have disclosed that Kepler 18 bits finishes a complete orbit around its star within an extremely brief period of merely 3.5 days. This short orbital period facilitates frequent and easy to detect transits, leading to its official confirmation as an exoplanet in 2011 marking it as one of the earliest finds of the Kepler mission. Kepler's extraordinary sensitivity to changes in starlight allowed it to detect even Earth-sized planets, an achievement that solidifies its pivotal role in space exploration. This heightened sensitivity was instrumental in determining the size of discovered planets, leading to Kepler 18 bits's classification as a super-Earth. Further, by observing multiple transits for each detected planet, the spacecraft was able to estimate crucial factors such as the orbital periods and distances from their host stars, expanding our understanding of these distant worlds. Though the primary mission of the Kepler spacecraft ended in 2013, the treasure trove of data collected during its operational years continues to inspire further analysis and facilitates new discoveries to this day. Its significant contribution to astronomy has not only provided a deeper understanding of our position in the universe, but has also ignited possibilities for life beyond our solar system. Physical Properties The Kepler-18 system consists of two low-density Neptune-mass planets near a 2 to 1 mean motion resonance and an inner super-Earth-sized planet. Its architecture bears a strong resemblance to Kepler-9, except that the Kepler-18 system is less compact and its planets are less dense. The use of the observed transit times, as well as the RV data in the dynamical model of the Kepler-18 system places tight limits on the allowed planetary masses. We adopt these values as our best determination of the masses of the transiting planets in the Kepler-18 system, using the methods described in Miller et al. 2009, and Miller and Fortney, 2011, we have modeled the thermal evolution and interior structure of the two Neptune-class planets, Kepler-18c and Kepler-18. Both planets have inflated radii compared to Uranus and Neptune, which points to two effects. The first is that the high incident flux slows their contraction. The second is that the mass fraction of heavy element within these two planets is lower than that of Uranus and Neptune, meaning the mass fraction of HE gas is larger. Uranus and Neptune are tilled 80% 90% heavy elements. Egg, water and rock. By mass. Fortney and Nettleman 2010. While below we show that the heavy element mass fractions of Kepler-18c and Kepler-18 are somewhat lower than these values. Thermal evolution slash contraction models are constrained such that the radius of each planet must be reproduced at the system's estimated age. As in Miller and Fortney, 2011, all relevant uncertainties are accounted for. These include uncertainties in the age of the system, the semi-major axes, masses, and radii of the planets, and the distribution of the heavy elements within each planet. Kepler was competitively selected as the 10th Discovery Mission. Funding for the Kepler mission is provided by NASA's Science Mission Directorate. 
We are deeply grateful for the very hard work of the entire Kepler team. This research is based in part on observations made with the Spitzer Space Telescope, which is operated by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, under a contract with NASA. Support for this work was provided by NASA through an award issued by JPL Caltech. Some of the data presented herein were obtained at the WM Keck Observatory. Location and Composition Characteristics of Kepler 18 Bits Kepler 18 bits is situated in the constellation Cygnus, which is about 490 light years away from Earth. The planet orbits Kepler 18, a G type star. G type stars, also known as yellow dwarfs, are similar to our Sun in terms of size and temperature. This makes them suitable for hosting planets in their habitable zones where conditions may allow the existence of liquid water. Kepler 18 bits' orbital distance from its star is remarkably close, which results in its short orbital period of 3.5 days. Despite this close proximity, the star's energy output is not as intense as our Sun, making the temperature on Kepler 18 bits potentially suitable for liquid water and possibly life. As a super-Earth, Kepler 18 bits is believed to have a solid surface. However, detailed information about its composition remains unknown due to the limitations of current observational technology. Scientists hypothesize that it may be composed of a mixture of rock and water, but further study is needed to confirm this. The planet's mass, estimated to be about 6.9 times that of Earth, suggests it could have a thicker atmosphere. This could impact the surface conditions and habitability of the planet. Investigating the composition of Kepler 18 bits is critical for understanding its potential to host life and its geologic activity. Knowing whether the planet has a magnetic field is also crucial, as it could protect the planet from harmful stellar radiation. These are the intriguing questions that continue to motivate research into this fascinating super-Earth. The future of space exploration may reveal more about the mysterious world of Kepler 18 bits bringing us a step closer to understanding if life exists beyond our solar system. Kepler 18 bits, an intriguing exoplanet located within the celestial swath of Cygnus constellation, lies approximately 490 light years from our home planet Earth. It orbits its host star, Kepler 18, categorized as a G-type or a yellow dwarf star. In the wide spectrum of star types, G-type stars exhibit several similarities with our Sun, such as their size and temperature range. Because of these shared characteristics, these stars have often been postulated as viable hosts for habitable exoplanets that can theoretically harbor conditions necessary for life as we understand it, like the existence of liquid water. This extrasolar planet, Kepler 18 bits, is noteworthy due to its notably close proximity to its parent star. Such a near-orbital distance results in a condensed orbital period of just 3.5 days. However, in contrast to our solar system, Kepler-18's energy output is significantly less intense than our Sun's. The resulting implications of this subdued solar radiation are intriguing. Kepler-18 bits's surface temperature could possibly fall within the range permitting liquid water to exist, and thus enhancing its potential for hosting life forms. Kepler 18 bits's classification as a super-Earth, a type of exoplanet with a mass higher than Earth's but substantially lower than gas giants like Neptune, suggests that it possesses a solid surface. Current technology restricts our ability to definitively determine its composition. Yet, scientific hypotheses suggest it might harbor a mix of rock and water, necessitating further exploration to confirm. Its mass, calculated to be roughly 6.9 times that of Earth, may denote the presence of a thicker, denser atmosphere, which could influence surface conditions and the planet's habitability. A thorough investigation into Kepler 18 bits's composition is of critical importance for comprehending its ability to support life and potential geological activity. Understanding whether it has a magnetic field, an essential defense against lethal stellar radiation, is also paramount. 
The intricate puzzle that Kepler 18 bits represents continues to fuel curiosity and propel research into this captivating super Earth. We eagerly anticipate future advancements in space exploration to unearth more about Kepler 18 bits' mysteries, edging us closer to answering the fundamental question. Does life exist beyond the bounds of our solar system? Size and Orbit Understanding Kepler 18 Bits' Celestial Mechanics Exploring the celestial mechanics of Kepler 18 Bits involves understanding its size and orbit in relation to its host star. As mentioned earlier, Kepler 18 Bits is a super-Earth, implying it is larger than our home planet but significantly smaller than the ice giants in our solar system. Precise measurements reveal that its diameter is approximately 2.00 times that of Earth. However, despite its larger size, Kepler 18 bits's close proximity to its host star results in an incredibly short orbital period of just 3.5 days. To understand this, consider our own solar system. Earth takes 365 days to orbit the Sun. The swift orbit of Kepler-18 bits is a direct result of its tight orbital path around Kepler-18. This implies that a year on Kepler-18 bits, defined as one complete orbit around its star, would last only a few Earth days. This short orbital period and close proximity to its star could also have other significant effects on Kepler-18 bits, such as its rotational speed and possible tidal locking. Tidal locking is a phenomenon where one side of a planet always faces its star, just as the moon is tidally locked to the Earth. This could result in drastic temperature differences between the day and night sides of the planet, which could have profound effects on any potential habitability. Despite the numerous questions that remain about Kepler 18 bits' celestial mechanics, each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of this intriguing exoplanet paving the way for future studies to deepen our understanding of this super-Earth and its potential to harbor life. Studying the celestial mechanics of the exoplanet Kepler-18 bits involves a deep analysis of its physical characteristics, specifically its size and orbit in correlation with its parent star. It is essential to emphasize that Kepler-18 bits is classified as a super-Earth an intriguing classification that indicates that this celestial body is significantly larger than our planet Earth, but notably smaller than the giant ice planets present in our solar system, like Uranus and Neptune. Scientific observations have determined its diameter to be about 2.00 times that of Earth, an impressive measurement that attests to its categorization as a super-Earth. But an important point to be made here is that Kepler 18 bits' larger size doesn't give it a longer orbital period, contrary to what one might assume. Its orbit around its host star is notably shorter because of its close proximity to its parent star. The exoplanet has a very short orbital period of approximately 3.5 Earth days. For further comprehension, we can draw parallels with our solar system. Earth, as we know, completes its orbit around the Sun in 365 days, constituting an Earth year. On Kepler 18 bits, however, a year, as defined by a complete orbit around its star, would transpire in just a few days as per Earth's time. The shorter orbital period, combined with the close proximity to its host star, have profound implications for the exoplanet. For instance, they likely impact its rotational speed and possibly lead to tidal locking. This means one side of Kepler 18 bits always faces its star, a phenomenon akin to how the moon is tidally locked to Earth. Such a configuration could create extreme temperature variations between the day and night sides of Kepler 18 bits, severely impacting potential habitability. Despite all these deductions, many questions about Kepler 18 bits' celestial mechanics remained unanswered. Nonetheless, each discovery, each analysis adds another piece to the enigmatic puzzle that is Kepler 18 bits. They enhance our knowledge about this super-Earth and encourage further studies, aiding the quest to uncover its potential to host life forms. If you enjoyed from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future interesting videos. Thanks for watching.